Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 27th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. It's just, you know, the tw next 24 hours, next 48 hours, whatever, the timing is fluid. We're going to start right here and see what comes up. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for our message today? <laughs> Healer of the ages. So that reminds me of God. It does remind me of God. It reminds me of a higher power that has a healing ability. So, um, this is your prayers have been heard. Um, to me, this is you. This is on the journey to balance. Somebody is going to be head taking a journey to balance and harmony. Um, there is some sort of protection here, being guided in a new direction. Um, enlightenment. It is definitely a time of enlightenment and following the path that you are meant to go down. Um, about bringing balance to your life balance is going to be restored it may not be in the way that you expect it to be but it is going to be it's time to get your life back on track there is help there's help from above okay you are being guided down a new path accept it your vibration is changing so pay attention and allow and accept um, there's definitely some sort of protection here so that's good We have a healer, okay. This is a, this is a healer, you know. And I and now what just came to me as I was putting the card down was like a was like an earth angel, you know, an earth angel or a healer, a light worker, you know, um, somebody that helps others to heal. Okay, there's a there's a healer around that can help you to heal. Put it that way. This is somebody that is very gifted, okay. There's a godly presence of some sort, which is interesting. We have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Five of Swords, and the Devil card. So this is a hostile situation. It is a very hostile situation. We have somebody here that is addicted. They may have some sort of addictions. They're, they're, they're uh, in a destructive mindset. They're trying to break free. Uh, they're feeling very alone. They made a poor decision and now they're trapped in that, that circumstance. Somebody is trapped in an unhealthy circumstance. Uh, it feels like there's some violence here with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords uh, reversed. Um, that's dangerous. We could have some mental health issues with all three of these cards. We have somebody here that is, uh, they're trapped. They're trapped. All is not as it seems. There could be even some hallucinations here. Um, somebody is tied to a situation. They're angry. They're angry. They got themselves mixed up in the wrong situation. Now they want to fight. They want to win at all costs. They have a point to prove. There's something to do with knives here. Somebody may, you know, um, they're up to no good. Put it that way. Um, definitely uh, have somebody around that is angry and they're feeling betrayed. Um... It feels like they're 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 out of control, negative, out of control. This is somebody who is looking for a fight. This is explosive energy. Uh, yeah, so I think this is a hostile situation. We have somebody here that doesn't have any conscience. That is um, angry. Somebody is angry, and they may they may be fueling their. 
anger with some sort of addiction. There's some sort of addiction here. Um, this person is out of control. Okay, they can't control their emotions. They may be masking their pain with addictions, drugs, alcohol, food, whatever it is. Now, the Five of Swords is it's battling. It's a power struggle, okay? Feeling defeated. Somebody is feeling very, very defeated. They're feeling very, very alone. They're feeling conflicted. And they got this person looks angry like like they're ready to hurt another person. You know, they're, they're like, want revenge. It feels like there's revenge. So I feel like we do have somebody here that is, is looking for some sort of revenge. And, you know, uh... Something to do with knives. Um, unhealthy behavior. Definitely unhealthy. We have somebody here that is not in the right state of mind. Period. This person is obsessed. They are obsessed with winning as well. Because this is, I want to win at all costs. This is an obsession. This is very forceful energy. This one is too. So wasn't this one. All three of these cards are very forceful. Somebody trying to force something. All is not as it seems. Somebody may feel like everything is okay. It's not. We do have a higher power here that is watching. So that's a good thing. Um... Mm. Chariot reverse. Now that's a, that's an emotional outburst. Somebody that cannot master their emotions, unable to master emotions. That's disaster ahead. It is a disaster. Could be an accident. Could make it look like an accident. Um, chariot reverse. Lack of control. Lack of discipline. Emotions all over the place. Uh, angry again. We have somebody here that is angry. They're angry because they, they didn't get their way or they lost or they were embarrassed or they were disgraced or, you know, they made a poor choice. They're definitely angry. So we have somebody here that is angry. Um, that, that, oh, that, knight of, that knight of swords reversed is somebody that is explosive. It's kind of like a tower almost. Um, Disruptive. It feels like it's it's a uh, accident waiting to happen. Uh, major disturbance. Somebody is disturbed. They're disturbed. Um, cold and opportunity. Somebody is taking an opportunity. They are, and it's something to do with money. Somebody may want some money, or it has to do with money. That is an opportunity for stability. Somebody. There's a golden opportunity for stability for security. Somebody's also going to be getting a reality check. I feel like we have an individual who also has been planning something. They because this one and it's not good, even though this typically is positive. When you get this one in reverse, somebody's been planning something. Um, oh God, the world reversed. This is lack of success. Uh, not learning from mistakes. We have somebody here that feels entitled. This is a person that hasn't learned their lessons that is refusing to, to take a new approach. This person is stuck. They're frustrated. They're lacking goals, lacking discipline, lacking willpower, stuck in the present, refusing to focus on the future. This is somebody that... Uh, Re is resisting is resisting change with the world reverse they're staying stuck there's there they are uh this is somebody that um will not change is is really stuck in their ways uh refuses to listen to anyone this person is angry and they're going to take an opportunity it's like they're they have an opportunity they're going to take an opportunity um hmm. Something's not over yet. There's some sort of unfinished business with that world card reversed. There's unfinished business. You know, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Three of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of respect, lack of teamwork, lack of communication. 
Uh, we have somebody here that isn't working well with others. They're not on the same page and they're feeling left out. They're so and that's what's causing their anger. They're not receiving any help. They won't accept help. This is not accepting any help. Okay, not accepting any help. So we have somebody here. I feel like we have somebody here that has some mental health issues, honestly, that will not accept any help. Um... This person may be going someplace because they're angry. You know, they may be getting in their vehicle and driving someplace in a fit of rage because I feel like it's rage, okay? I feel like they're... I do. I feel like they're angry. Um, Queen of Cups reversed. Now, the Queen of Cups reversed is somebody that is uh, manipulative, uh scandalous, uh, revengeful, um, jealous, uh, wishy-washy. You know, the Queen of Cups, and I'm just, I'm giving you the negative traits. We've got a Queen in reverse here. This is somebody that can't master her emotions. Very selfish. I'm just being honest with you, and I know a lot of you are getting triggered at this point, but we all have these kind of qualities, okay? So, this is somebody that is sees themselves as a victim, is unwilling to uh, give, okay? This is somebody that withdraws emotionally, shuts down their emotions, and uh, doesn't, perhaps doesn't know what love is, okay? Um, I think there's somebody headed towards this, and it's like revenge, I feel like there's revenge, and this is deep sadness, okay? The Queen of Cups in reverse is deep sadness, heartbroken, tears, emotional. Can Definitely cannot master emotions, okay? We have somebody here that is really struggling. What they've been doing is masking their emotions with addictions, okay? With the shot, with there. They've been covering up their emotions with addictions, and it's got to the point, you know, where the addictions aren't, aren't covering it. Okay, or the drugs or the alcohol or whatever the, the, you know, feed is, isn't covering it anymore, you know. Um, so now it's like it's out of control. This is like, it's not working anymore. You know, the, the fix isn't working. So there's anger. There's anger over, you know, nothing changing. Um it feels like there's a battle ahead. This is like a battle. We have somebody coming. Um, it's like they're coming to pick a fight. You know, almost like... And they want to blame everybody else. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. Um, we have a couple of people here that are toxic. Because we have two people in this card. Even though one of them's covered up. Okay. So we have two people that are toxic. It feels like one person... Um, I don't know. It's interesting because that person is covered up now. Now there's only one instead of two. Maybe going away or something like that. Um, the Queen of Cups reversed. Very emotional. Unable to control emotions. Especially with that chariot reversed as well. Something coming to a dead stop. This needs to stop. This needs to stop right now. So whatever that means, this needs to stop. Somebody is, is going to do whatever it takes to make it stop. Um, I think there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead as well. It's almost like, please stop. Maybe it's like hollering, screaming. I don't know. Four of Swords. Now this is... I mean, I see the Four of Swords. It's sleeping, taking a break. It's tired, but it's also uh, a need to recuperate, a need to recover, a need for a timeout. But it's also the death of a person or idea when I see the Four of Swords. Okay? So it's it's something coming to an end. Okay? Somebody has been haunted or they're being haunted by their actions. And they need to heal. They need to go within. They need They need time to heal. But they also need, I feel like we need somebody here that needs, 
they need they need to heal like in an institution no offense or anything this looks like institution to me you know somebody needs institutional healing <laughs> just being honest okay um anyhow um somebody is being haunted they're being haunted by the really very fearful fearful um I feel like somebody is is coming out of hiding. I feel like they are. Uh, it's almost like when somebody is sleeping, somebody arrives. You know, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I feel like that is the case. Um, it's, it's like scared, scared, scary. This is scary. It is scary. We have somebody here that needs time to recover. They need time to heal. They need help. They need help. They do. They need help. This person has some serious addictions. They do. And they need help. They need they need some sort of healing. They need they do. All is not as it seems. I feel like this person is gonna do something crazy. I'm just being honest with you. There's some sort of unfinished business and I feel like, I feel like uh, they're plotting and I feel like they're planning and I feel like, I do, I feel like they're planning. I feel like they're planning and they're, they're about ready to take action and I'm just, I'm just being honest with you and I'm, you know, I have to be, I have to be. Um, this person is not healthy. They're not, they're not, they're not healthy at all. This is a, this is a disaster. But that chariot reverse is a disaster. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of disappointment. Um, I mean, that Queen of Cups reverse, that's emotional disappointment. It is. It's sadness. It's, it's, uh, we do have somebody here that is sad. They are sad and they're jealous. There's jealousy. There's revenge. There is revenge here. Definitely. There is revenge. And I, and I feel like, uh, this is like war, and I think it's war between two people that both have obsessions, you know what I mean? It's like both of these people have obsessions, okay, with winning. And I think these two people that want to win are going to be in fighting, you know? It's like this is a battle of, you know, uh, egos, you know? That's what it, it's like the battle of the egos here, where the best man win. And I feel like we have an individual that... Uh, Obviously has made a poor choice. Now that chariot, that chariot reversed is lack of control, lack of direction. A lot of, a lot of disharmony. We got somebody here that is haunted. They are haunted by the past. And they're not getting any support from anybody. They're not getting any help from anybody. And it's causing them a lot of emotional turmoil. Okay? And that emotional turmoil is fueling their anger. So, this person going to do something crazy. I feel like it's crazy. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is, is moving. It's going going someplace, traveling, going someplace. Looks like it's the middle of the night. I do feel like it's at night. Deciding to go. Seven of Cups, seeing clearly, seeing clearly that it's time to go. Making a choice, making a clear decision to move as well. Because this is moving, moving on, moving away, taking a journey. Somebody is going to be going someplace. I feel like it's at night. They make a decision to go and they go. They go somewhere. They see an opportunity. They're taking the opportunity. They're going. They're in no hurry because they were planning. 
but now they've they've come up with their plan the plans are in action now they have the opportunity to move so somebody is definitely moving somebody may be trying to stop somebody as well because this is stop I definitely feel like somebody is um, being haunted by the past. They have not been communicating. They've been in no hurry. But now they have a plan. They are about to uh, I don't know fight for something because that five of swords is fight somebody is leaving but too they're leaving because of that there's leaving there's walking away there is somebody is leaving oh that's very confusing but this is coming out of confusion seeing very clearly mm -hmm. four of cups somebody has missed an opportunity They've been ignoring an opportunity. They've missed an opportunity. They've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Now I feel like they're going to get some sort of clarity that sees, that helps them to see that they need to uh, take an opportunity. You know, they've been thinking about, about moving. They've been thinking about leaving. They've been thinking about uh, breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Now they're going to do it. There's definitely a lot of emotions all over the place. Some of these emotions are like, can't control them. Mo uncontrollable emotions here. It hurts to it cuts. That's why those knives are there. It cuts. That's why there's knives. Knives cut. This cuts like a knife. It's like that song. It cuts like a knife. You know, it hurts. It hurts. So I feel like somebody is leaving and it hurts. Um... We have an individual that was in no hurry. They were they were in no hurry, but now, but now they gotta go. They gotta take action because somebody's leaving, and there's some sort of unfinished business that needs to be taken care of. We have something to do with a well, a four 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 fours are about angels, and I know there's protection here. There's angel protection here. Or there's angels. <laughs> there is angels. Okay. It's interesting that I mentioned that at the beginning. It's like there's there's angels. It's almost like there's angels trying to bring two people together. But there's been some sort of third party interference. I feel like we have somebody here that has been really discontent. They've been having a hard time sleeping at night. They have to do something. They haven't been able to do it because they haven't been able to master their emotions. They've been thinking about it a real lot. They've been wanting to prove a point. They've been trying to win at all costs, you know, to prove this point. Now they're losing something of value and the only way to get it is to speak up before it's too late or to do something about it before it's too late. All is definitely not as it seems. We have two people here that are that are bound. Okay, they're they're connected. They're connected at a higher level. Okay, and I feel like there's been some sort of delay. There's been sort of some sort of delay in, you know, um, happiness. There's really no union here. Because of a third party, for one, and because of the need to prove a point. Somebody's ego. Somebody's ego got in the way. Now this person is really discontent over the loss, or the potential loss. They have a golden opportunity, and they're going to take it. I feel like they're going to take the opportunity that they have been ignoring. They've been ignoring this opportunity. Now this person is moving. You know, that Six of Swords is moving. Before they move, they need to take the opportunity before these people move. However that resonates with you. I mean, this could go so many different ways. I just fell on the floor. Ooh. Nine of Swords. This is regrets. Extreme regrets. Extreme regret, sadness, guilt. We have somebody here. It feels like hospital. 
a hospital, because that looks like a hospital, a hospital or a jail or something like that. It feels like we have somebody here that is going to uh, be experiencing some sort of sadness or guilt or regrets over some sort of poor decision that they made. You know, that's a poor decision. Somebody ignored an opportunity and they are going to regret it. Or they're going to do something. There's serious regrets here though. There is regrets. So we, I think we have somebody here that is really having a hard time sleeping. This person cannot sleep at night. They are thinking a lot. They're thinking about a move. They're thinking about making a move. Uh, their ego is still in the way. Um, but they have a strong bond with somebody. And they also have a point to prove. There's some sort of deep sadness here. So anyway, I feel like you can expect Well, that Knight of Swords reversed is I think there's a message that you don't want to hear that is coming, okay? Or somebody is doing something out of context, you know? They're looking for a fight. We have a know-it-all here. Um that is having a hard time seeing things clearly. I feel like this person is going to take a golden opportunity to uh, move in a new direction, whatever that means, however they do it. Good luck.